Hello friends, welcome to Aura Patshala and in this video we will solve a problem which I think most of us have faced while creating a page. So the problem is how we can set equal height to all of region in our page. So for example, I have a page which has three region, region A, region B and region C. So how can I give equal height to all region? So let's open our application builder and solve this problem. as you can see I have a page and in this page I have three region region A region B and region C so if I run this page so you can see region A has this height region B is small and region C is the smallest so how can I make this height equal okay so for solving this problem let's go to our page designer so let us select region A and in the property palette just scroll down and you can see a property here row CSS classes so we can give a class name in this let's see equal hyphen height okay and then just go to our page and in this inline CSS let's write this code okay save the page and run it so now you can see all of my region has equal height and this height is dynamically adjustable for so for example if we create one more page item in this region and now we run the page so you can see all region has same heights so by using row css classes we can achieve this okay so another use of row css classes is we can highlight the row in a form so let us consider i have a supplier page and i want to highlight this middle row okay so that these two this row has different column so i can use that same css class here to highlight the row okay so let's go back to our page and you can see this is the row so it is our second row in the form so let us go to same css property here and give it a class name just say and copy the class name go to the inline CSS and you can set the color here So if you run this page now, so you can see my second row is highlighted. Similarly, you can highlight any row. So this is one row. So if you want to highlight first row, you can use the same property here. So my first row is this supplier name and GST number. Let's go back here. Give any name. Just say C class go to page property and inline CSS again you can give here another background just say blue 
in the page so now you can say the first row is blue and second row is green so this is the use of row css classes thanks for watching the video subscribe the channel for more tips like this